as well. Last but not the least, Mr. Sumit Peer, political commentator with us on the program as well. Sumit, what do you make of what's going on right now? Is it surprising to you that Mr. Eknath Shinde uh, you know, would agree to, you know, A, playing second fiddle now to perhaps a Devendra Fadnavis or B, you know, taking up a bigger role at the centre because from the looks of it and from the buzz, it seems that Mr. Fadnavis is slated earmarked for the top job. Vinny, thank you for having me on your show. It was a couple of days, I think your channel, uh, your show, when I was stretching my neck out and saying three things. Look, the CM of Maharashtra is going to be Mr. Devendra Fadnavis. This is on record. There will be two deputy CMs, that's what the former looks. Um, Ajit Dala Power, of course, there. I think here it won't be Eknath Shindeji, it will be his son, Dr. Srikant Shinde, who will be the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra. And Eknath Shindeji will move to the center with a plump cabinet portfolio because that will make him a Rashtriya Neta or a National Neta. And the son will continue to be the CM, a Deputy CM at this age, is fantastically good. And he's a very qualified, he's a very nice person, a qualified doctor. So, a Pada Likha Deputy CM would be an ideal. Now, if you look at Devendra Fadnaviji, he has done a fantastic work. He did much more than what BJP expected internally. He is the one who broke the Shiv Sena into two parts and then got the winning side of the Shiv Sena. He is the one who broke the NCP into the two parts and got the winning side of the NCP with him. With all those achievements and to keep the ground under control and to keep the keep the Karikartas under control, I think there is nobody who could be better footed than Devendra Fadnaviji. There was a talk, he will be moved to Delhi and made a Rashtriya Adhyaksha. I stretched my neck out and said, no, that's not going to happen because that is not where his competencies are. You need this man on the ground. Maharashtra is a state with $510 billion of GDP. It's the most prompt, uh, prosperous state of India. And after such a fantastic win, and after the person who has you know, worked hard and done, given you such a win, you can't put him into some other job. And secondly, Vineet, he was... Look at the tiyag and look at, look at the sacrifice of Devendra Fadnaviji. Last time, when uh, two and a half years back, first he told, I will not be in the government, I will support from outside. Naddaji does a press conference in Delhi and declares Devendra Fadnaviji will be the deputy CM. And as a loyal party worker and karikarta, he said, yes, Mr. Nadda, aapne bola, I'll stick to that. He let his ego go, he let his you know, prestige and all go. He was the next, uh, you know, he was deputy chief minister to Eknath uh, Shindeji. And now, out of the three portfolios, there are only three, three portfolios that matter in Maharashtra. Home, finance, and, you know, home, finance, and uh, what, what else? And PWD. So that is where the things are going to be. Who gets home, who gets finance? I think BJP will retain home in whatever may. I don't know about the finance. I don't know about the PWD. But this is what the formula looks to be. I think this will be a win-win for all. Because at the end of the day, if his son is a deputy chief minister and Eknath Shindeji becomes a, a Rashtri Neta or a national leader with a powerful portfolio, that will be a win-win for him. So look, two and a half years back, people did not know this Eknath Shindeji. People do not know his son. It was all about Hagre. Now today, who is ruling the roost? So between father and son, if you look at a graph of two and a half years, it's fantastic. That's why he said, whatever BJP's top brass will decide, whatever Modi ji will decide, I'll go with it. I told you that day, Vineet, he will not do the same mistake of Uddhav Bhav Thakre. If Uddhav Bhav Thakre last time had exactly done this, Aditya could have been the deputy CM, there would have been no problem and there was no Eknath Shinde. There would not be an Ajit Pawar faction They'll, and he will be still in power. So looking at the history and looking at the dynamics, I think this is the best thing what a seasoned politician like Eknath Shinde ji will do because he is a person who has stood risen from the ground. He was a he was an auto rickshaw chalak. From an auto rickshaw chalak to becoming a CM is a lot of sweat and hard work. That's the greatest of Indian democracy. So this man understands ki zameen kya hai. While as Udav ji, you know, got carried by some parties and was mesmerized by this newfound secularism and love for Congress, which cost him everything, including the legacy of his father. But today, Hindu Hidai Samrat Balasaab Thakre ji will be very happy. You know why? Because all the years, all the decades of hard work and sweat he has put in Hindutva, let it be his son is not the Uttar Adhikari. Let it be another brave son, another brave Maratha, Eknath Shindeji, he has become the Uttar Adhikari. Knowing Bala South personality, he will be very happy. Hai, there is somebody who is carrying my flag. And that is what the nation loved and that is what the nation voted for. And this, you know, mag this win of BJP. Uh, you know, Yuti. The swing of Yuti was a landslide victory. We need all our predictions went wrong. We are talking about 145, 155. Both the numbers are off the roof. So Devendra Fadnavis deserves it. He is the man. And if you give this man on the job, he will ensure you also have a next term or maybe two terms. That all is right. my take on it. Okay. All right. Uh, coming in, uh, Mahayuti allies.